Hello friends welcome back to our channel if you are interested in learning something new then listen to me if you have not subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe now in this video we will learn about components of food this is the second chapter of class 6 ncert science textbook in our previous video we have learned about food and its sources categories of animals based on their food etc if you have not watched our previous video please do watch i have shared the link below in the description box okay let us begin with the components of food let us begin with a small activity take a pen and a paper write down names of different food items or dishes you know observe the names do you observe that each dish is different made up of different ingredients yes you will see that most of the dishes are different Is it necessary to have different types of dishes? Yes, because these ingredients contain some components that are needed for our body called as nutrients. Nutrients are substances that are needed by our body for proper growth and healthy body function. There are majorly five components. The major nutrients in our body are carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, proteins and minerals. food also contains dietary fibers and water let me explain each of these in detail first one is the carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates are in the form of starch and sugar in our food carbohydrate rich food are potatoes corn bread milk yogurt etc carbohydrates mainly provide energy to our body fats also provide us energy it gives much more energy compared to carbohydrates hence food containing fats and carbohydrates are called energy giving food food rich in fat are butter soya bean cheese etc moving on to proteins proteins are needed for the growth and repair of our body food containing proteins are often called as body building foods protein rich food are gram moong beans meat fish and eggs next one is vitamins these help in protecting our body against diseases it also helps in keeping our eyes bones teeth and gums healthy there are different kinds of vitamins some are vitamin a c d e and k There is also a group of vitamins called as vitamin B complex. Our body needs all these type of vitamins in small quantities. Let us talk a little about each of these vitamins. Vitamin A keeps our skin and eyes healthy. Some sources of vitamin A are milk, fish, sweet potato, broccoli, etc. Vitamin C helps our body to fight against many diseases. Some sources of vitamin C are tomato, lemon, amla, etc. Next, vitamin D helps our body to use calcium for bones and teeth. Some sources of vitamin D are cheese, egg yolks, butter, fish. You also get vitamin D from sunlight. Moving on to minerals. Minerals are needed by our body in small amounts. Each one is essential for proper growth of a body and to maintain good health. For example, iron, phosphorus, iodine, calcium, etc. Iodine rich food are fish, milk, yogurt, bread, iodized salt. Food rich with phosphorus are fish, nuts, beans, dairy products, etc. Some sources of iron are dark green leafy vegetables. dry fruit and peas besides these five food also has dietary fiber and water dietary fiber are also called as roughage main sources of roughage are whole grains pulses potatoes fresh fruits etc roughage does not provide any nutrient to our body but it's essential component of our body it helps our body to get rid of undigested food 
Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps in throwing out some waste from body as sweat and urine. We get most of the water that our body needs from the liquids we drink such as water, milk and tea. We also add water while cooking many food items. Okay, moving on. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is the diet which contains all kinds of essential nutrients in right amount needed for proper growth and maintenance of our body. Pulses, ground nuts, soya bean, sprouted seeds, fermented foods, tepla, banana, spinach, available vegetables and other such foods provide many nutrients. Therefore, you can eat a balanced diet without expensive food materials. Eating the right kind of food is not enough. It should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost. Do you know that some nutrients get lost in the process of cooking and preparations? If the vegetables and fruits are washed after cutting or peeling them, it may result in the loss of some vitamins. The skins of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals. Similarly, repeated washing of rice and pulses may remove some vitamins and minerals present in them. We all know that cooking improves the taste of food and makes it easier to digest. At the same time, cooking also results in the loss of certain nutrients. Many useful proteins and considerable amount of minerals are lost if excess water is used during cooking and then thrown away. A person may be getting enough food to eat, but sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrient. If this continues over a long period of time, the person may suffer from deficiency of that nutrient. Deficiency of any of the nutrients can cause disease. Diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases. Let us see some of the diseases caused by deficiency of vitamins or minerals. Deficiency of vitamin A in our food causes loss of vision. Symptoms are poor vision, loss of vision in darkness that is night blindness, sometimes even complete loss of vision. Next one is vitamin B1 deficiency which leads to beriberi. Symptoms are weak muscles and very little energy to work. Vitamin C. Deficiency of this vitamin causes scurvy. Symptoms are bleeding gums. Wounds take longer time to heal. Vitamin D deficiency causes rickets where bones become soft and bent. Deficiency of iodine leads to goiter. Here you will see glands in the neck appear swollen and mental disability in children. Last one is deficiency of iron which causes anemia which is weakness. So in this video we learned about different components of food, its necessities, different sources of each of the component of food, balanced diet and what happens if any of the nutrients is lacking. So see you all in our next video and if you have liked this video click on the like button and share this video with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to be notified when we upload our next video. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Keep learning.